Jean-Christophe is keen to prove that the kitchen is more demanding than most people would think. Hi, how are you? Hi. So he's invited three individuals who are used to stressful jobs to his cooking academy. The idea is to train them up to work in a kitchen and let them experience the demands for real. Will they cope with the stress or will it be a recipe for disaster? So who are the contenders? Julia Baltrop. As an A&E doctor, she sees up to 45 patients in a 10-hour shift. I've just been handed the bleep over, which means I'm now um, in charge of the department, so I've got to make sure that as much as possible we don't reach the four-hour waiting time. Sabra Butt, teacher by day, full-time mum by night. Right, you need to sort your ties out, please. Thank you. We've got a new building, as you can see. It's brand new, but it is very, very hot in here, and that gets very stressful when you've got 30 kids in here as well. Should I stand here and keep waiting for you? Thank you. Is that actually scary? Yeah, no, she's pretty scary. Though. It's just like <laughs> she's usually up for a laugh and that, but when we have to get onto work, then it's just the eyes really. She's just looking. Right, guys, follow us out, please. We've got live paper in the front. Ian White, self-employed IT consultant. He spends most of his working day in conference calls and rushing to client meetings. Particularly problematic issues in the industry is the fact that technology is constantly changing. And the ability to stay current with that is quite a challenge. Now, I would have to ask you, which one is more stress? Yourself as a teacher or a chef? Definitely teaching. Okay. Have you been in the kitchen before? Uh, I'm in the kitchen every day. I cook for my family. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jan? I think it's two different sorts of stress. Time stress, you are more stressed than I am. Intellectually, probably I'm more stressed. My job is definitely more stressful because, let's face it, no one's going to hopefully die in your kitchen, whereas they could well do it when I go to work. So. So they all think their jobs are more stressful. But learning the skills was only half the challenge. Our volunteers don't know it yet, but Jean-Christophe Novelle is not finished with them. You saw this was a challenge. Now that was just a little bit of a walk on the park. Because the real challenge is going to be this. You have three of the most stressful jobs in the country. But how does it compare to that of a chef? To find out, we're taking you to a five-star hotel in London, where you'll be working in the kitchen of a top-end Italian restaurant as chefs for the night. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think um, we need to work as a team. <laughs> this is the menu, and this is where you're going to be learning to cook. This whole menu? <laughs> We have to cook everything on this. Well, you will have to participate to the service. Tomorrow night is a five-star hotel restaurant and it's very, very busy. It's a massive kitchen, very good food, great chefs, good service. Therefore, welcome to the club. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> I can do the French fries. I'll take a salad. <laughs> I love the challenge. I think I'd rather be sitting there with the customer and uh, discussing new business, but I think it's also going to be extremely stressful. I don't even know what some of these things are, let alone cook them. So we'll, sh we'll see tomorrow. I, I can imagine it's going to be quite stressful, but I think as long as I keep the bigger picture, no one's going to die, it's all going to be OK. More on how our volunteers get on later in the programme. <laughs>